Hello, all right, quick unboxing of this, the Nest Thermostat E, which is their, well, it's a cheaper version of their thermostat. They've got the Gen 3, which is the premium one, I guess you'd call it, with all the fancy features. This is a, more of a budget one. Uh, plastic build instead of aluminium. Um, I've got this for £100, which is a lot cheaper than you get on the website. On the website, it's about £200, which is probably more than what it should be. Let's have a look. It's nice and heavy. It's got a real weight to it. USB cable attached, and that's fixed. This is a heat link. So this replaces your thermostat uh, that's attached to the boiler. It's like the receiver for the thermostat. Battery powered, so you don't plug it in to a live core. What else is in there? So this is a plug, standard USB. Instructions, I'm guessing. Mounting plate, so this is to put it on the wall, not the actual thermostat, because this is table mounted. But the heat link. So basically that goes against the wall and that goes like that. Hidden away in the cupboard it will be, or next to your boiler, it's out of sight, so you don't really have to worry about what it looks like. Uh, Wago connectors, or well, similar. So these will be used for uh, terminating any cables from your existing thermostat that you don't need. Because this is battery powered, the heat link, uh, any power running to your existing thermostat, you'll cap these off with these. Quite handy that they'll throw those in. I think that's it. Oh, a couple of screws. They're quite hidden. So make sure you don't throw the box out about taking those out. Right, quite hard to see, but here it is installed. Uh, I haven't shown you install installation because there are various guys out there that will do a better job than me, but essentially this is the power that came into the old thermostat. So you just terminate that in the, with the supplied um, connectors. I needed three, so I needed to get an extra Wago one. They only give you two, um, so you may need more, so keep that in mind. Um, and then the the common the switch the two switch wires go in here so the common wire and the normally on wire they connect in here so only two wires come into this usually and then these are the old wires terminated there um, there is some space underneath here to put these to hide them away but it's quite bulky so I'm going to get a junction box and just attach it up there uh, just to keep it all neat and tidy all right and here it is here it is uh, all connected. It is compared to the old one. See this old one very light, so you touch the screen and you'll be pushing it all around the place. This one, solid. Actually it wobbles a little bit. But, uh, so you turn this dial to set the temperature. You press it in to get to the menu. Heat, turn off. Eco, so that was set like if you're going on holiday or something, set it to eco, put it on a low temperature. Settings, you've got your schedule. History, home away assist, so it's just if you want it, so uh, if it knows you've gone away, it will turn off the heating. Eco mode, setting the minimum for eco. Safety temperature, so setting an absolute minimum for, uh, this is not really useful in the UK, but if the temperature drops very low, it will stop the um, pipes from freezing. Nest sense. Auto schedule. So I leave it on auto schedule. These are all various settings. Some block will, um, if, it's, if the sun hits the thermostat, you can change it so it recognizes this. True radiant, I don't know what that is. Optimize your radiant system. Uh, no idea. I don't think I have a radiant system. Let's go back. Nest Protect, so it will link with your Nest Protect and it will, uh, if the Nest Protect detects carbon monoxide, it will turn off the boiler. Handy. Wake display when you pass it or when you press it. So it has a, it has a sensor, so when you walk in front of it, the display turns on. Click sound, you can hear that. 
Leave that on. Temperature Celsius or Fahrenheit. Date and time. Language. Uh, Wi-Fi. That's about it, really. Equipment. I'll just. That's where you set what kind of boiler you have. Nest Pro. That's if you get stuck and you need someone to come out and install it for you. Software. Software update. That's the most recent. Technical info, all the boring stuff. We're set, we're done. And that's it. All right, here's the Nest app. Uh, there's the Nest Protect, then here's the new thermostat. So you can tap that to look at the settings. Here we go, you can just tap this up and down to change the temperature in half degree increments. It's giving the temperature of the living room, temperature at the heat sink, heat link, I should say, uh, humidity in the living room, and the outside temperature. Settings, auto schedule, create a schedule to match your heating preferences. Uh, yeah, that's where it's trying to be a little bit clever by learning your behavior. Time to temp, estimates how long it will take to reach a target temperature. That's quite handy, so it will say it will hit your degrees in 30 minutes or whatever. True radium learns how long your system takes to heat up and uses that info to create. Right, so it's related to the other thing, really. Sunblock, yeah, that's what yeah, it tells the nest when it's in direct sunlight. Leaf appears when you have adjusted, so it's like an eco show off bit. You got to set your eco and your safety temperatures here. Change your temperature unit there, connecting to Wi Fi, setting where it is, and all the technical info. Uh, eco, so you can start eco mode. Save energy when you by using it when no one's at home. We'll turn it on manually every time. Uh, schedule. So this is this is a bit messy, I think. Uh, it's quite hard to set, but you choose your day and then you choose your temperatures. I don't know why that's there. How do we delete it? I don't know how you delete one. Oh, there, remove. Remove that. So that's the schedule there. And what you can do when you're happy with one day, you can copy it and then paste it over another one. Can't see how you can do that over multiple days. You can copy a week, but I don't know why you'd copy a week, because then where would you paste it? Because it only lets you choose one week, from what I can tell. But anyway, that looks better. Um, oops, ignore me. History. Come back tomorrow to see what your thermostat's been up to. So that'll just tell you when it's been turning on and off. That's about it. Any questions, let me know.